William wants his colleagues to look up to him and be able to respect him in the same way they used to respect the prior head research analysis. William knows that he had a rough start with his position, but he believes he has learned from the mistakes he has made. William's next challenge must be to get everyone in the department to respect his authority. During a weekly meeting, Mr. Oliver gives William a huge task to complete. William decides that the best way to come up with a reliable decision for the client would be to make everyone work on the same task. He decides he wants everyone on teams of four working on the same thing. The department is going to undergo organizational change because they are not used to working in groups that big when working on projects. William meets with the department to explain this structural change with them. Everyone, if I could please have your attention. Our biggest client is interested in making some more investments. The client is interested in a few particular stocks. We have until the end of the week to present a decision on whether or not it would be in the client's best interest to invest at this point in time. In order to pro provide the client with our best research, we will be working in teams. I have sent everyone an email with their assigned team list. On Thursday, you and your team must pre present your results to me and I will compare them to mine. Let's get to work. William, this is nonsense. We don't need the entire department working on this. We need everyone to help with this project. It's our biggest client. If we give them bad advice, we will lose them. I really don't think we need to change the structure we have going on. You cannot expect everyone to adjust to this and give you good quality work. Trey, you haven't even given it a try. I don't need to. I already know this is not going to work the way you expect it to. The entire department trusts Trey more than they trust William. Because of this, they start to get a bit chaotic as they disagree with William. Everyone, please disregard Trey's concerns. I can assure you if we all work as a team, we will get better and more accurate results. This is my final decision. Mr. Oliver also believes that this is our best shot. Trey continues to disagree with William and does not work in a team. Others in the department decide to do the same. William has a meeting with Trey to address the issue. Trey, you have gone over my instructions. That is unacceptable. I have my result and I did not need a team. You are missing the entire purpose behind the organizational change I implemented. I have compared your results to the results of the teams that did work together. Your data is very different from theirs. Their research matches the results I got along with several other teams. If I were to give a client your research, we would be misleading them. Trey compares his research to other teams and realizes that he did not do a good job. I cannot believe this. My right has gotten in the way of my work ethic. You are right, William. Working in a team, they help the department come up with a more reliable decision. I'm sorry for getting in the way of that. As a result, the department now respects William more now that they see that his idea I'm had always worked. with you. Oh, 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 oh,